Hi, Jill Jackson here in the studio today with part one of my Resin Phoenix Sculpture Series. I began by sketching a phoenix out on paper. I placed a silicone mat over my drawing and using a caulk gun and some silicone caulk created the shape of the phoenix. I had to go about three layers high. I let the mold cure for about 24 hours. Using Perlex powders and a brush, I lightly lined the inside of the mold. This will add a little bit of color around the edges in the finished piece. I've mixed up six ounces of Pro Marine. In this case, I decided to go ahead and pour a light layer of resin into the bottom of the mold before I added my gems. If I had to do this again, I would go ahead and skip this part and go right to mixing the resin into the gems. But that's why there's a part two of the video. Here I've got a tub of acrylic gems. I'm adding the rest of the resin into the gems and using a butter knife to stir them. I love to use a butter knife when stirring my resin because you can just wipe it off and use it again and again. It's not for food use anymore. In any case, here I've got a spoon. I'm going to go ahead and start spooning my resin and gem mixture into the mold, patting it down as I go. I found it easiest to go ahead and spread the layer of gems out all the way across the mold and then come back in and add a little bit more, thicken up the spots that needed it. As I found out later, I went a little bit too thick in some spots, but I'll explain more about that in a little bit. I used my dedicated art spoon to flatten everything out and then used a torch style lighter to go ahead and remove the bubbles. I allowed the resin to cure for 24 hours. Time to unmold. I included a lot of fine detail. This was not that easy to unmold. But would the mold live to see another day? I really wasn't sure that it would, but it did. And here's my gorgeous Phoenix, but there's one problem. Right below the beak is solid. I did not intend to do that. So I took it out to the drill press and voila. Now it's time to make the base. I removed the plastic gasket from a glass candle jar lid. I thought this would be perfect for a base for my Resin Phoenix sculpture. So I mixed up an ounce or so of Pro Marine, added some fuchsia and luster blue, swirled it into the jar lid, and I will place the sculpture in here, balancing it on cups. I allowed this to cure overnight. And here it is poolside, a resin and acrylic gem phoenix sculpture. I hope you like it and enjoyed the video, and I hope that you'll tune in for part two. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit sisterearth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating my friends.